first Northern Permaculture Gathering took place this weekend on the southern shores of Loch Ney. And I always like the permaculture gathering because you never know what's going to happen. You do know that you will learn a lot and meet friends and hear their passionate uh, projects, hear all about what they've been doing and attend workshops that they share what they've been doing. And I'll show you photographs in this short video and I'll show you a short video that I recorded there, which I think is quite humorous. And, um, you know, um, I do love gatherings and I always have um, enjoyed the ones that are like uh, campfire and entertaining yourselves because that allows for new culture to evolve and develop. So, um, and overall, I must say the feeling was very, very peaceful. And I think a big credit and gratitude goes out to the land um, guardians, the uh, council for Craig Avon, uh, which is in um, Armagh area, um, give permission to the Kinigo bushcraft crew to host this event. And what a brilliant job they did. So hats off to um, Wayne and Jenny and Greg and Pete, I know from there as well. Um, the place is a flatland location beside the shores of the biggest lake in Ireland. And the, um, there's some young oaks that I rather liked to sit under and have campfire food. We were blessed with good weather. And members of the public were passing through because it's, a, it's like a park. It's got a lovely cafe and a beautiful bird hide, which features. And um, some of the workshops I went to that I didn't get to record was, one was brilliant. Um, Stephen did this wonderful um, tiny homes workshop. So the workshop that um, uh, I gave was, was a meditation and uh, will lead you into the beautifully created structure, which was a Mongolian yurt. Makes me think about what structures do we have in Ireland that we can um, host events in. Um, usually Brendan, my husband, makes a bender, which is hazel rods, which are fresh, freshly cut. Um, and then a canvas over that. So I'm, I'm well inspired for the winter months to create new things at home and uh, would love to involve anyone interested in, in edge school um, subjects, which I'm putting together the curriculum now. And generally you'll guess what, what I'm interested in. I'm interested in well-being and health and easy practices that get you centered. And um, also it takes some dedication and discipline, but that's what I'd like to do is support people through the process that I've been through and continue to go through because my interest uh, grows with subjects that have to do with wholeness and well-being and, you know, benefiting from local produce and local skill share. Um, yeah, there's no end to the possibilities. So let me see if I can share this. And this is from the Kinigo um, Bushcraft Center event, Northern Permaculture Gathering. And looking forward to sharing the video with you as well uh, at the very end. So this is a home pro uh, production. And let's see if I can find the, uh, the series of photographs. Here we go. Ah, we'll start with cleaning. So <laughs> you have to clear out before you can start something. So here is the, uh, beside the kitchen, outdoor kitchen, where you wash your dishes. When you've finished, you wash your own dish. And lo and behold, underneath is the compost. Throw your, your, your uh, food waste. So I hope you can see that. 
Um, that was a handy one. That's the thing. One of the things about permaculture is the practicalities. Um, if you if you use your energy to do one thing, always have as many things that can happen. So washing your dishes beside the compost. There's the children playing. That's Jenny right on the shore, as you can see the lake there in the distance. And where I live, there's not so many trees that you can play amongst. This is the Mongolian yurt. Something really nice about sitting in a circle. That's the inside and the central light chamber. And playing basketball. That's what the, the teens and children, some adults did too. And outdoor classes in, oh my goodness, there was such a selection. The um, founder of the Permaculture Gathering is Susie uh, Khan here on the left. And there's a, a mother with a young child resting on her knee there on the shore. And inside, um, clusters of people gathered, two workshops in the mornings and two in the evenings. We can see, um, I'll show you the, the, the notice board later. So I went on a walk and I learned about the Alexander technique and I found myself walking taller and straighter as I walked along with Colin, I think his name is. And the scene that we came upon was so peaceful. Nobody spoke in the bird hide. It was, it was just so reverent. Um, we have a um, swan and her young whatever they're called, the science of, of nature, I don't always remember, but it's a beautiful art of the top northern coast of Ireland with birds there. In a shown where I live. I really have got to know birds very, very much better than ever because I live with them, living on this hill here, as you can see from the background. I'm on Loch Boyle. So here we are. That's the biggest lake in Ireland, Loch Ney, and Lurgan and Portadown are the closest uh, towns. So um, Belfast is north of that and over to the east. Really a beautiful spot. They've such a treasure with that location. I found a beautiful wildflower meadow just between the road and the building. I think they're hornbeam trees, a silver, I mean, it bring, brings out the poetic in you, you know? Bountiful boughs, sharing their lovely, I see it was quite windy, so the trees drew attention to themselves and you can see a rainbow there. Um, the notice board is, um, this was two days, so that's an example of the sec first and second day. People offer by placing their workshop title on the notice board and people attend. This was uh, in the lovely two-story building beside the Bushcraft Center, and that's a shot, an aerial footage of the um, Navan Fort, Owen Maka in Armagh. Just a, it was a talk about trees from Richard from Wicklow, who, who's uh, tending to uh, an older forest and also planting new uh, trees in Wicklow. He just points out how, how trees grow in the landscape and that they were part of the um, ancient laws of the land. I love the old script here. And we have these are um, features that came with the, the location. Um, I know Greg and Pete learned from the Lakota people actually how to put these structures up. And if you look in between them, you can just about see a square structure, a tiny one in between the big trees. That's the compost toilet, which features in the video that I, show, I will show you. And over to the far side, people are chatting around the food area. And we have, there was a campfire as well that was sheltered. That was a nice place that there was music one evening on Saturday evening with people who don't always get a chance to sing in company. And maybe even like myself, don't always yeah, remember some of the old songs. 
the ones that we composed ourselves mostly. There's, there's uh, some nice, nice um, ballads, stories through song. There's me on a Sunday morning enjoying a breakfast under a tree with the, the low sunlight. You know, that Sunday morning I had, by noon I had, I had that lovely start. Uh, first of all, I lay on the, the ground uh, all night um, in a tent. And that was pleasant because it really does help ground with all the electric around us to go barefoot and to lie on the ground. It's really healthy. Certainly I find that. And then um, sitting under a young oak tree brought its own pleasure. My backbone parallel, leaning up against its uh, straight trunk. And then, then that morning, I was able to do uh, peace dancing, circle dancing with Wendy and children and others. And then I also did yoga with Marquin and it was a mostly lie down and do some deep breathing and gentle movements. You could almost do it in bed. Um, Satnanda or something like that yoga. And then some Nidra yoga for um, really deep relaxation. And then um, Kelt, Bob from Kelt was there putting um, posters up about the uh, amazing crafts, the projects that they do in County Galway and also Clare. And here we see people from all over, I know County Clare and all over the north. Um, it, looks, <laughs> it looks very strange. We're at the end of a dance. This is the circle dance. And then there's this interesting piece of carved wood that must have been fun to make in quite a center. There's Brendan, my dearest Brendan Farron, doing basket making. And um, he has the Big Green Art tutorials now, Big Green Weaving. And that's all online, you can learn. That was a really popular one. These are locally grown willow from um, where we live in uh, Greencastle. And uh, the meditation. I love looking at people who are in deep relaxation. And um, so the children, so pleasant to see them playing all weekend, happily and safely. And there's uh, one of them, um, this girl here, who's got her arms out, gave an amazing workshop, which was attended by, oh, it must have been 20 or 30, where she introduced plants and their uses that were growing wild in the area. And here we are chatting under the trees. So I love clusters of people sharing information. There's another group um, from Wicklow, some of them, and Cavan. Again, such a beautiful setting. And so it's like the harvest time, a lot of these people um, for all of us, August is a, is a relax and share and get out in the fresh air. Um, talks on trees and food growing. The, the food, a lot of the food um, didn't get used, the, the food that was planted. So we got to go home with some. The children's workshops were very good. Um, about, I mean, basically every session, it seemed like the children were doing something. And that made the parents so happy because um, all of us, have, have done, um, you know, we've had full lives um, pioneering a lot of things, which means that the system isn't set up to support us, but that doesn't, that doesn't matter because we, so we develop skills of, of uh, supporting ourselves. So um, I know that that chap has a community supported agriculture scheme. So you start small and then you offer your materials to the community. Um, bicycle, I was impressed to see a few bicycles. I think the north of Ireland has some fantastic bicycle tracks, really well provided. I know Comber to Belfast is a really nice one that you can safely cycle to work if you work in Belfast, you live in Comber, um, like my friend Rachel does. And uh, there was talks on economics. I see Philip there and What else? The organizing crew was, was um, people from Lacken Farm, Steve, and Foraging Donegal, Claire, and 
oh, Porta, Porta Ferry, I think, is where Heiko is from. And, and once you start mentioning the people involved, it's hard to ensure you, you get everybody's name in. But at the very end, um, we all got together in a big circle and shared our information and finished with going into the center and just cheerio and best wishes and sharing what we, what we got with the, the wider world in that form. It was new to some. And then sharing the food left, left behind. There was a lot of spinach, so people were able to take home their next meal. Uh, beetroot, chard, um, and oh yes, we've got uh, courgettes and salads. I think, oh, there's the video. I'll be signing off with this little giggle and I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you on the other side of this. Just sign off. Okay, I'm suggesting uh, you have a look at the cleansing section at this permaculture gathering. So before you can do something new, often you have to release and relieve yourself. So we'll go from this view of the gorgeous berries that are growing for this harvest season to this beautiful compost toilet. This is the one that you can do your water clearing. And this is the one where you can do your more solids. And this is where you wash your hands. This beautiful set, set up here. These are the teepees that we shall uh, have our workshops in. And there's where the food is served. And there are three young oaks under the big oak. And there in the distance is a yurt that I'm going to do my meditation, colors and senses, inner permaculture. You're welcome to come and go. So there we go. I, um, I just recorded on this little Samsung that I picked up and uh, this little mobile could be any brand <laughs> and I also used a, a, a microphone that I have a small podcast on so I hope to do more media um, as I did you know as before children um, I also would love to share with you the oils that I have that and assist to cleanse the, the body. So anyway, the Edge School is where you can find me. And I am delighted to be able to share this with you. I hope that you've enjoyed this little visit to the shores of Loch Ness and the permaculture gathering. Um, so that's it from me, Kathleen, and I'm happy to share any news about wholesome and wild projects. So take care, best wishes. <laughs>